Make sure to follow my Instagram at marspeed underscore official, where I'll answer all your questions and DMs. Hey guys, so in today's video I will be installing and reviewing some headlight bulbs. The one I've purchased are Sylvania Silverstar ZXE Performance Halogen Headlight Bulbs for both the low beams and high beams. On my 2009 Dodge Charger, the low beams are number 9006SXS and the high beams are 9005XS. If you do have the charger, make sure you get the XS ones, which means straight connector, and not the 90 degree connector, which won't fit. I actually purchased these on sale last year and have put off putting them in the car, so today's the day to finally make the switch. And I currently have just the regular Sylvania basic bulbs. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a review and install of these uh, headlight bulbs. So first of all, let's look at the product a little bit. Sylvania makes lots of different types of bulbs, as you can see by this chart. Again, I have the basic ones on the left in the car right now, and I'll be putting in the ZXE on the right. The prices slightly go up, um, as do the quality of the bulbs as you go from left to right. So I'm using Walmart.com prices. Basic is $18 for two bulbs. Extra Vision is $20. Silver Star is $34. Silver Star Ultra is $44. And the Silver Star ZXE are $55 for the pair. And this is just for low beam pricing. If you want high beams, you need that pair as well. So basically double the cost. I just wanted to try the best that was available. So basically I will be going from the cheapest basic bulbs to the most expensive ZXE. And I did get the bulbs on sale on Amazon, as most of the reviews were very good. Average rating 3.6 stars out of 5 for almost 3,000 reviews. So what is this product supposed to do? As you can see by all these claims from Sylvania, basically this is supposed to give you crisp whiter light with the look and feel of HIDs, which are normally more expensive and more complicated since they need a conversion kit, and these are just simply plug and play. So this is basically the best alternative to HIDs, as Sylvania claims. So first off, here's some footage of my stock bulbs. I will do some more comparison footage once the bulbs are in, but as you can clearly see, the stock Sylvania basic bulbs look yellow and ugly as hell, even in broad daylight. So now we need to take out the old bulbs. Difficulty will vary based on your car, but uh, I have my 09 charger here, so we need to take out the air intake on the right side to get at those bulbs on the charger. Uh, there's a bolt near the edge that you need to take off first. My plastic piece is broken off, so my bolt isn't really keeping much in place, but yours will be attached to the intake if you have this car. I also need to loosen the clamp keeping the intake in place with a screwdriver, and then pull off the hose to the left, and then the uh, whole intake can come right off, giving you easier access to the bulbs. So for the bulbs, as you can see, they're very easily displayed here. All you need to do is twist it to the left to loosen it, and then you can pull it right out of the housing. Really simple. Do that for both bulbs. The outer bulb is obviously the low beams, and the inner ones are the high beams. And the bulbs will have some sort of harness attached, and for this one, the clamps were pretty tight, so we just took a screwdriver to pry them off a little bit and made it easy to pull the bulb off. Then put in the new bulbs, and that's done. And put the bulbs back in in the exact same way. Just kind of fit them into the housing and then twist them to the right to tighten it. If they're not fitting perfectly, it does help to just look into the headlight area um, and see for yourself where it should be and if it's aligned or straight. And then access to the bulbs on the other side is even easier. You don't have to remove anything and you can just reach in and repeat the whole process. Pretty simple stuff. Make sure to also put back the intake as well plugging the hose back in, fitting the intake over the clamp and tightening it, and also putting the bolt back in place. So now it's time to see if these things are actually any good. I've got a bunch of shots of both lights, so I'll try to compare as best as I can. Now in this shot here, the right side has the ZXE bulbs and the left is stock, so right away you can see the yellow color is gone, and the lights are more white and seem brighter. Now for the night test, again, here's the footage with the right side upgraded and the left side stock. It's definitely whiter light and also seems brighter again on that ZXC side. So when I put both stock lights in, uh, the camera might not pick up the color too well, but the light is definitely yellow, but still overall light out output really isn't that bad.
Now here's the footage with both the ZXE bulbs in. As you can see it's a nice white light, and I definitely noticed it seemed to be a brighter output. By how much I'm not really sure. In any case, thankfully the yellow hues of the basic bulb are gone. Here's some more comparison footage of both the lights. So overall I'm pretty happy with these lights. They were pretty pricey, uh, but seem to compare well to HID bulbs. And when you really compare it, it's basically $20 for basic bulbs, or $55 for these. So I think it's worth spending the extra money in my opinion. I'm very happy with the whiter light, it looks much better in the day or nighttime, and the light output has also increased for sure. If you want tons of light output, then LEDs are the way to go, because those will be even brighter. But for an HID alternative that's around 50 bucks, these have done the job well. The only downside is that I've read that these won't last too long and the bulbs burn out quicker than OEM stuff, so only time will tell for that, but so far in one month I've had no issues. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If you do want to check out the product, I'll put a link in the description below. I will also be testing out some LED bulbs at some point in the near future as well. So make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar and car content, and I'll see you next video.